Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and I am going to answer a question from the Pure Mathematics P through International A Level at Excel textbook from Chapter Three on Trig Functions. This question here is um, from Exercise Three D on page sixty one, question number eleven, and this was requested by one of the students on YouTube. Um, sent me a request via email. It's, now the email was in my junk mail folder for a little while, so I didn't see it until just today. So. Um, Anyway, um, if you would like me to ask any questions that, you know, especially related to the syllabus that I, that I teach in school, which is International A-Level syllabus um, from P1 to P4, M1, S1, and also IGCSE Cambridge um, material, then you are, you're welcome to send me messages through the comments, and I'll try to get around to answering your questions as soon as possible. So here we have a question. It says, given that x equals secant theta plus tan theta, show that 1 over x equals secant theta minus tan theta. Now, this question actually is a bit of a complicated one in terms of if you try to do it the normal type of way, you're going to kind of sometimes go around in circles. I, I looked at this question. I did it a few times by you know, trying to change this into 1 over cosine theta and this into sine theta over cosine theta and then ended up going in circles. Um, and then I thought, okay, let's look at the identity which involves secant and tan theta. So sometimes you try something, it doesn't really lead you anywhere, so you have to, uh, let's, let's think of a new strategy. So let's think of an identity involving secant theta and tan theta. Now, if you forget your reciprocal trig identities, it's very easy for you to remember them by going back to your original ones, which is sine squared theta, plus cosine squared theta equals 1, and also that tan theta is equal to sine theta over cosine theta. These are the original two identities that we learned in P2, which are used to, to derive all the others. So if I want to find the identity which involves secant and tan, I need to have a tan and a, se and a secant, so I can divide each of these by cosine squared theta, and then I'll end up with something as required. This will give me tan squared theta plus 1, equals secant squared theta okay and then what i thought of i thought hold on this is secant theta minus tan theta so if i can rearrange this this a little bit if i subtract tan squared theta from both sides tan squared theta from both sides i'll get secant squared theta minus tan squared theta equals one okay so that might help me somehow because i need to get something on this format so then what i did is i said okay let me take um, this x, which is secant theta plus tan theta, which is like this all over 1, basically. And let me write it as, as its reciprocal as we're asked to do there, 1 over x. So that's going to be 1 over secant theta plus tan theta. Then I thought to myself that I need to end up with something with secant theta minus tan theta. And this might help me. I know that secant squared theta minus tan squared theta equals 1. So let me replace the 1 with secant squared theta minus tan squared theta. So I have secant squared theta minus tan squared theta over secant theta plus tan theta. Now, what we have here is a difference of squares. Okay, we have a difference of squares over here. So we can rewrite this as secant theta plus tan theta times secant theta minus tan theta and that's all divided by secant of theta plus the tan of theta and now we have a common factor of secant theta plus tan theta which cancels out and that leaves us which we're, the thing that we have to prove secant theta minus tan theta so we started off with secant theta plus tan theta and we proved that one over that is equal to secant theta minus tan theta Right, so that's, um, you know, it's it's a bit of a weird one, okay, but always try and think of the ways that you can connect them. And I thought that this is very similar to that in terms of, you know, the form that it has to take. So I use the identity and I replace, when I put it at 1 over x, I replace the 1 with that because I thought that might help us, and it did. And we got the answer, right? So... It is one of those uh, strange type of questions. If you try to change things, it might you might be able to get there in other ways as well, of course. But when I try to do it by using, you know, this as one over cosine theta and this as sine sine theta over, over cosine theta, and I tried to manipulate it, I was ending up getting this again, and it wasn't really um, helping me 
to sort it out until I tried to think about this identity and to how to link this to this identity because I saw that this is like the same as that you know in terms of just this is you know like a, a difference of squares which would contain that but anyway so that's how I, I tackled part A so that that is a pretty um, tough one but you know it's doable and then part B is just simply um, manipulating what we found and expressing x squared plus 1 over x squared plus 2 in terms of theta. So we've got to take start off with this. So x squared is, is secant theta, secant theta plus tan theta. And you've got to square that. That's x. x is this, so I've got to square that. And 1 over x squared is the same as 1 over x all squared. Okay, this is the same as that, of course. All right, so we've got to take 1 over x and square it. So we're going to take going to add to this secant theta minus tan theta all squared and then we've got plus two at the end so let's see what happens when we simplify this so we're going to expand this bracket which will give us secant squared theta plus two times secant theta times tan theta plus tan squared theta so how you square a bracket you square the first term square the last term and the middle term is twice the product of the middle of these two terms and for this it will be secant squared theta but this time would be minus 2 secant theta times tan theta and then you're going to have plus tan squared theta and then plus 2 and now these will cancel out so we're left with secant squared theta plus secant squared theta which is 2 times secant squared theta and tan squared theta plus tan squared theta which is 2 tan squared theta and plus 2 and I can use this identity that we already looked at secant squared theta is tan squared theta plus one and I can see a tan squared theta plus one if I take out that two is common from those two terms so secant squared theta plus two times tan squared theta plus one and that is as we know we just seen up there secant squared theta is the same as tan squared theta plus one because that starts from sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals one divided by cosine squared theta we get this so I can replace this with secant squared theta so we end up with 2 times secant squared theta plus another 2 times again secant squared theta so we're left with 4 secant squared theta so there we have simplified this and expressed it in its simplest form um, yeah just with one ratio and there's the answer for part B and that concludes this question question number 11 um, I hope that was helpful. As I said, part A is a bit of a strange one. Um, sometimes you need to do a bit of brainstorming. Or sometimes you need to start and sometimes you go wrong in the beginning and then you find your way. Um, you stop, okay, hold on, let's try something else. That's how these questions sometimes work. All right, so there's the answer. Uh, thank you for watching. Other questions that you want to watch that are from the this particular chapter of P3 the textbook from um, persons at excel i will i'll click them all together in the playlist that will appear in the top right over here other questions in general from p3 you'll find um you know in this playlist over here and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link thank you for watching and see you soon